What's up? It's your boy Sebastian and welcome back to the Pro Nerd Report channel. So today we're reviewing a new entry into the Souls genre. It's Thamesia for every console and PC. Before we get to the review though, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Now without further ado, let's get started. So if you've been paying attention to the trends in gaming, then you will know that the Souls genre is taking off right now. It seems like we get games of the genre all the time. The latest addition to this club is Thamesia. It's a fantasy soul-like third-person RPG made by Overborder Studios. So, does Thymesia do anything to stand out in the Souls-like genre? Is this game worth your time and money? Let's dive into it. The key to this problem lies in the memory of Corvass. So, it's a shame that you suffer from memory loss. With the help of a spirit child, you go through your memories to find the answers that might save everyone. Let's talk about the good qualities of this game. So, I can't say enough good things about the combat. The combat is simply fun. It's a cool mashup of the combat from Devil May Cry and Bloodborne. It's a cool combination that performs really well in a Souls-like game. Everything from the way you perform combos to the way you parry and block really works well. The controls are well thought out and allows the players to get into a groove with their combos. The enemies you encounter have dual layered health bars. One is green and one is white. The game encourages you to play aggressively because the enemy's green damage heals over time. The animations you do when you kill certain enemies are so damn good. It really stands out. Just like Devil May Cry, the combat is fast paced and skill and combo based. If you enjoy those types of games, then this will be right up your alley action wise. If you played any of the Souls like games, then you understand how to level up in these type of games. This game has the same feature, but I want to give Thymesia props for its execution. The skills and the upgrades all feel useful and allow the player to reselect skills if they want to try and play a new playstyle. Another thing that I really enjoyed is how linear and short this game is. It kind of feels like Bloodborne's levels, but cut in half. That works to this game's advantage. It goes from being a memorable and fun shorter experience as opposed to a game that overstays its welcome. Now, let's talk about the flaws of this game. I can't state enough how generic and boring the main character Corvus is. Nothing about this character stands out and it's hard to connect with him despite the fact that this game has you playing through his memories. That leads me to the next flaw with this game. It's the narrative. The story feels reminiscent of Bloodborne's and doesn't really stand out on its own. Nothing about the narrative of this game really feels unique. Speaking of not standing out, the environment isn't anything remarkable or special. Each area feels bland and generic, just like a lot of the enemies that occupy them. The areas are technically well designed and well lit, but just generic overall. Ultimately, Themesia is a good action adventure souls like game that scratches the surface of what it could have been. Its superb combat can't overcome its lackluster narrative, environments, and generic enemies. If those flaws aren't a big deal for you, then you'll probably have a really good time playing Thymesia. If you're a fan of this genre and looking for a solid 8 to 16 hour experience, I'd recommend checking this one out. Ultimately, I'm giving Thymesia a 6 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you want to stay up to date on all things the Prono Report, including more game reviews and the Prono Report podcast, go ahead and hit subscribe to stay up on all things the Prono Report. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.